Hello and welcome, Zamora Gaming fans. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and I am bringing you week one of the PML Draft, YouTuber's edition. This week we have our opponent, Globber of Globber and Devin. So, that's who we will be competing against this week. And hopefully we can get a win as week one of our first official YouTube draft. And of course, he brought many of the Pokemon I expected to see. Uh, actually, pretty much the six I for sure knew he was going to bring. I knew Marowak might have been a maybe. And, um, uh, what's the other one I was thinking? Marowak and, no, that was it. I guess I only thought Marowak would sub for, like, um, maybe more Pico. But I figured he'd want to bring an electric type, knowing we have uh, Charizard and Blastoise both here. But we're going to go ahead and lead off with Tease, um, the Lightbird. Because she's a prankster, uh, taunt, thunder wave, and basically either way it goes. I'm expecting a shuckle lead or a cloister lead. And either way we could taunt it with prankster taunt and avoid the shell smash. And with shuckle we'll avoid the hazards it could lay. And Globber seems to have made a mistake here. So I'm going to pause real quick, and we're going to do same leads. Alrighty, guys. Take two of this official week one draft. <laughs> it's not a PML draft unless something goes wrong week one, ain't it? Alrighty, guys. Well, at least we know the starting Pokemon he's going to go out with. And Polly the Great Friend, which would be his uh, little electric-type Pokemon, more Pico. And, of course, we led, led Tease, and this is not exactly um, the lead we wanted. But we're going to go ahead and switch out to Goddard because we do have the Volt Absorb ability here. And let's see what he goes for. Hopefully he goes for that Electric type move. He might be going for Parting Shot. We'll just have to see. Okay, so he does go for the Electric type move, which is fine. Alright, now we can go ahead and go for a Volt Switch here. It's pretty safe. We are choice specs, so it should do a pretty good amount of damage, even though it is resisted. And um, I think we could switch out to maybe Lycanroc, depending on how much this damage does. Alright, he's taking a minute to take his move, but he's just going to straight up withdraw. He doesn't have a ground type Pokemon, so um, anything he brings out here we can hit pretty good with the Volt Switch. And now we can get priority switch in uh, with Charizard here. So yeah, let's go ahead and go Charizard here. <clears throat> And of course, there's a. They have a two. Water types. So on the I'm gonna go for that. He's gonna switch here into a water type, and I'm gonna go with Tease. I'm gonna switch out. So I'm gonna pull a double. And he's taking time to make this move, so I'm sure he's really thinking about it. All right, so Tease comes out. Let's see if he makes the switch. Yeah, he goes for the switch. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, so he does come out with this thing. We're going to go ahead and Thunder Wave because we get a free Thunder Wave on anything that he decides to switch out to. Okay, so he's going to straight Dynamax here. All right, well, that's not bad. We can handle this. At least we get our Thunder Wave off. And we are focused, Ash, so we'll live anything that he has. But hopefully we get the full pair here. 
All right, lucky us. We get the full pair of turn one. So now we're going to switch out to Leonardo here because that's basically what I made him to do is to take on this uh, take on this Gyarados the best he can. So he's going for the max airstream to get that speed boost. Hmm. Well, he is. Let's see. He's plus one, but he's paralyzed. Let's go ahead and try to get this rest up. Maybe we'll be faster, but it might be a sack here. But honestly, it's fine for now because we do have heavy duty boots on Charizard, so I'm not too worried about Stealth Rocks. Okay, so yeah, he's going to go ahead and try to take out this, uh, take us out here. And non stab still takes it out. Okay, so he does get the Moxie boost here. And we're just going to go ahead and go Goddard here. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and go Goddard here. Because even though he's plus one, he's still parried. So it should, we still, still do a good amount. Oh, wait. Perfect. Yeah, his Dynamax ends here. So let's just go ahead and do a Mighty Volt switch. She probably sacks this thing off. So we handle, um, we handle that very well. All right. So he brings Vinny out again. We Volt Switch, of course. And we're going to go ahead and bring out Undertaker again. And judging by his team, I think it's time we Dynamax here. Yeah, I think it's a good time to Dynamax. Even if we don't take out his whole team, we can pretty much... Uh, Handle the rest of it with our power, powerful hitters in the back. So let's see who he goes to here. Tempest. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to go for the max airstream here. And this, uh, this is a few turns to just kind of get Charizard souped up. We're going to boost our speed so we can outspeed the more Pico and the Espeon. And hopefully we can get sun up, depending on how much this max airstream does here. Okay, so it's not enough to where I'm going to trust the max flare to do the job. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do another max airstream here so we can at least be faster than the cloister even after shell smash. Because I feel that's going to be very much needed. So, so far, a lot of smart switches on Glauber's part, so we're, we're pretty evenly matched here. He does have one kill so far, but I feel Charizard's about to put in the work. So, what I'm hoping is we get this Max Airstream here, take out his Gyarados, and I don't know why he's taking so long to pick a move. But, um, he's certainly taking his time calking and whatnot. So, even after a Shell Smash, we'll be faster than Cloyster. So, I think even if he brings Cloyster in now, it'd be a good move to uh, Max Flare. Because you, uh, I have a good feeling it's going to be Sashed. So, we'll break the Sash, and then we'll have the solar, solar Beam Power on the next turn. Automatic turn one, because it will have the Sun out as well. So 
So let's see what he decides to sack off here. Okay, so we're definitely faster than this. Uh, let's hope this thing's not focus sashed. Because if this thing's focus sashed, it's going to do a pretty good amount of damage to us. Possibly take us out. No, not take us out because we're Dynamax, but it'll do a pretty good amount of damage either way. Yep, that thing's sashed, so it's going to do a pretty good amount of damage to us. But it's fair. And since we are plus two, I do think we still outspeed. So let's hope for that. Because <laughs> Charizard's pretty much set up to take on the rest of his team. So unless he has Thunderbolt or something, he does lose his electric type move. But either way, I don't think we uh outspeed it. I mean, live it if it hits us, so let's hope we outspeed here. We are plus two, he's only plus one. But he is naturally ten points higher. So we'll just see. <laughs> All right, so we are faster, and we do get to take out that more Pico. Solar Power is going to take a little bit of health of us, but let's see what he brings in next. If it's Cloyster, he most likely has Ice Shard on it. But, okay, so he's bringing out the Stallmon. And we're just going to go ahead and Max Flamethrower. I mean, well, not Max Flamethrower, but we're just going to Flamethrower here. We need as much damage off in this thing as possible. And that does it. Alright, so he red cards us, which I don't know if helps us or, you know, hurts us, but we'll see. So again, not too worried much about Stealth Rocks because we do have uh, Heavy Duty Boots on Charizard. So let's just go ahead and Iron Head here. I apparently didn't put any moves on this thing, but Iron Head's pretty much all I wanted to use with it anyway. Alright, so he brings out Vinny, which is very interesting. But we're going to sack off. Should I sack anybody off? I think I'm just going to go ahead and stay in here with Berserker and Ironhead again. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just Ironhead see what, what damage it does. So it does have Earthquake, but we're pretty defensive. Iron Head does a good chunk. Okay, so now he went for Earthquake. So I'm assuming he's going to go for it again. Let's go ahead and get Charizard in here. And again, with Heavy Duty Boots, we'll be fine from Stealth Rocks. Okay, so he did predict it. He went for the knockoff. Good move on his part. All right, so this thing is a bulky thing. It does break our sash, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and go to Goddard here. Yeah, let's just go Berserker. We really need those last three mons for that uh, cloister. All right, so we got a free fake out here. Let's go ahead and go for an iron head. All 
Okay, good damage. It's going to take us out here. And I feel like he's going to try to gain health back with this thing. But I'm going to go tease and I'm going to go U-turn. Should I go foul play? I'm going to go foul play here. I think it'll do more. No. Damn it. What should I do here? Um, it is a physical attacker. I'm going to go foul play. Hopefully that was the right decision. Because this could be the game right here. Because if he uh, switches this thing out, it can stall us out later. So he's clearly thinking about that because he's kind of staying in. And foul play does enough. Beautiful. All right. So far, we are in the clear. And now I think he goes uh, cloister here, I would assume. Because he's pretty much... Avalanche to rampaging. Yeah, he goes he goes cloister here. We're gonna go ahead and give it a taunt. We're not gonna let this thing set up in front of our face. So my plan is taunt. Then U-turn, because I assume he's going to switch. Okay. So, never mind. He's staying in. He predicted the taunt. He's potentially going to knock us out. We'll see. Two more. I think we live two more, as long as there's no crits. <sighs> nah, we don't. It's fine. It was worth the risk there. Because uh, Specs Volt Switch knocks this thing out. And he can't have Sash on this thing, so. This is a very intense first match. <laughs> so, really, it's been a really good match. Let's see who takes it out and wins. All right, he's really thinking here. All right, so he stays in. We go for the volt switch. Knocks it out beautifully. All right, so we pretty much got this game in the bag. Lone Wolf's going to come in here. Wow, we almost used all 20 minutes of this battle. And this is going to be a speed tie. Between me and um, Espeon. And I really hope he doesn't uh, use too much time. Because I would like to end this battle within the 20 minutes. I mean, you know who you're sending out. Alright. So we officially see it. And now... We're going to Stone Edge. Hopefully we don't miss. You got this, Lone Wolf. And we win the speed tie here. I'm assuming he's max speed. And we get the KO critical hit. I'm sure it didn't matter. But um, that's it for week one. We win a good 2-0. So, Globber, GG. Good game, man. And for the fans, I will see you guys next time.